Everything is a drum. Hey! And go. What's up, everyone? Adam from FWCI. Let's watch The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Something. The Fellowship of the King, Fellowship of the Lord, or The Fellowship of the Ring. It was one of those three. As you can tell, I know next to nothing about the Lord of the Rings franchise. Let's let's sit, let's catalog the few things that I do know. Um, I know that uh, Ned Stark shows up at some point and says, one does simply not insert meme here and I know that eventually an old man goes you shall not pass and uh, I believe that man is Gandalf who is played by Magneto you know the guy McClellan that's him and I know there's a little goblin-y guy called Gollum who has a ring wants a ring something about a ring with him he, he's He's keen on rings, is the the young man. Or maybe he's an old man. I, I don't know what he is. And honestly, I'm so far out of my depth with this entire genre in general. Uh, I Okay, so I've watched Game of Thrones, and I had my partner with me pretty much explaining everything to me as it went through, which was a big help. I've watched Harry Potter, and I had my partner there explaining everything to me as I went through each movie, so I kind of had some idea of what I was talking about. And you guys in the comments as well also uh, contributed to that. Outside of those two shows, I don't really dip into the historic or fantasy genre in this kind of goblins and elves and dwarves and uh, giants and goliaths and, you know, galaxuses and all that kind of stuff. I, it's not really something that I... I feel overwhelmed by it, and, and by the way, I'm doing the regular edition, not the extended edition. Leave your hate in the comments, it's fine, I get it, you, you want me to do the long one. But I'm going to be overwhelmed with information anyway. <laughs> I certainly don't need more information that might go over my head or, you know, distract me from something else. So I'm just going with the, the, the straight up regular old edition. Maybe we'll do the extendeds as I go through the series. But if you do want early access to my other Lord of the Rings reactions, they'll be going up on Patreon two weeks early. So it's patreon.com slash FWCI, that's where you can support the channel, get the early access five dollar redos a month that's all it costs and the current plan is to do these once a month so uh, there should be another one coming up in a couple of weeks on patreon so go check that out and uh, also full-length reactions on patreon as well if uh, if you've got the time <laughs> to do a full-length version of this reaction with me by all means do it you'll probably see a lot more confusion let's be honest um but you know it's fine ladies and gentlemen this is the lord of the rings Fellowship of the something. <laughs> oh, genuinely nervous. I feel like I need to have a notepad or something. I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad. I still ca I still don't know the difference between Death Eaters and Dementors. Great miners and craftsmen of the mountain halls. Okay, the elves, the dwarves, and the men. The old white men. Desire power. Oh, good. Give, give them the most rings. But they were all of them deceived. Mm, deceived. Oh. Sauron forged in secret a master ring to control oh. all others. Oh. Oh. His malice and his will to dominate all life. So whoever gets this master ring becomes the Lord of the Rings. It's one ring to rule them all. I've heard that phrase before. Mount Doom, they fought for the freedom of Middle-earth. Mount Doom? That doesn't sound... Nice. Whoa, ah, it's fitting. It is fitting. Oh, Hugo's in this. Oh, is he elf because he's got pointy ears? Is that what we go? Yo! Oh, so this is the one? This is the Master Ring? This is Sauron, or whatever his name is? <laughs> Alright, I see why people probably want this ring. Oh! And for two and a half thousand years, the ring passed out of all knowledge. Ooh, that's a long time. My oh, 
this is the Ring Lover. The Ring brought to Gollum unnatural long life. Oh, For 500 man. years it poisoned his mind. 500 years? Jesus Christ! The calendar of this movie is very long! It abandoned Gollum. Oh. It just up and left? Bilbo Baggins of the Shire. A ring. Bilbo Baggins. Alright, Bilbo. When hobbits will shape the fortunes of all. Oh, Bilbo, you shaping fortunes, are you? So Bilbo's had this ring for 60 years now. Yeah, let's just jump forward 60 years. It's fine. Is that Dumbledore? Better bloody not be. A wizard is never late. Frodo Baggins. Oh, that's Gandhi. Gandalf? Gandalfy? No. We'll, we'll find a name. G Dolph. The the there it is. Tell me. Oh, eager and curious for a hobbit. That's a natural. Hobbits. Why are they not allowed to be curious and like wanting to know shit? Whatever you did, you've been officially labelled a disturber of the peace. Mm -hmm. G Dolph is disturbing peace. All right. I didn't know about him. Dumbledore vibes. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Jesus Christ. I better not joke about that. <laughs> and all this is filmed real deal style somewhere in New Zealand. Damn. Yeah. I've been told the credits of this movie is quite long. And I'm guessing this is why. So, does Bilbo still have the ring? Is it still in his pocket? God, he does have it in his pocket. And I don't expect I shall return. In fact, I mean not to. It's a cold statement there, Bilbo. Alright. That's, uh... Past the Dutchie Bundy Land side. Smart ass. <laughs> Alright, so it's Bilbo's birthday, and, uh... Christ, so what Gandalf has just a, got fireworks powers? What the hell? Oh, who are these miscreants? Supposed to stick it in the ground. It is in the ground. I'm sorry. That was your idea. <laughs> Gandalf, you've got some cool fireworks, man. Oh, and another one! Just a... Jesus Christ! Gandalf, g -Dolf, you can do fireworks at my birthday party anytime. I might have known. Busted. Jones! Windflowers! Bulgers! Let's not forget the bulgers. Today is my 111th birthday! <laughs> Oh, he sounds shit-faced, man. And I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. I didn't get it either, guys. <laughs> Gandalf's like, <laughs> delightful. It was a solid burn, Bilbo. I bid you all a very fond farewell. Oh, oh, oh wow. <laughs> he did that with the ring? I didn't know that was going to happen. He just went invisible. See you later. I suppose you think that was terribly clever. Ah, Jesus. Here in my pocket. <laughs> the ring chose him. Is that so hard? Well, no. And yes. Mm. He's turning into that. Yeah, a guy. It's um, mine. I found it. It came to me. There's no need to get angry. You see? My own. Wait, wait, that is him. Precious. What the fuck is going on here? It's been called that before, but not by you. Oh, a business is of yours when I do with my own. Oh, I follow. Bravo, Baggins! Do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks. I am not trying to rob you. I'm trying to help you. 
<laughs> You're Magneto. You can just grab the ring. Easy. Elbow. Still got the ring, doesn't he? Hard to do, wasn't it, Bilbo? But no one man should have all that power. Or Hobbit, I guess. Until our next meeting. Mmm. Weird interaction. So is there nobody with, like, a soul pure enough to be able to resist the corruption that comes from the ring? Or is that what we're about to spend, like, three movies or four movies figuring out? Crystals that need answering. You've only just arrived. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Mm, so, what questions does G. Dolph have? Like, is this like, is, um, what's his name? Gollum? Gollum, Gollum, isn't it? Is Gollum still, like, out there? Like, possessing people or something? I, what's, what's, what's the, what's the go, G. Dolph? Oh, where the hell is this? No! Alright, so Gollum definitely is still around. We just heard him going, Aah! Baggins! <laughs> High King of Gondor and the finding of the Ring of Power. Alright, fill in these blanks. What happened after this? It is precious to me. Oh, is this written by a golem? <laughs> whoa, whoa. Shhh. Yeah. There's no around here. Throw up and hop it. Dude, that horse is freaky, man. Is it secret? Is it safe? <laughs> ah. Whoa. I don't think that's going to melt the ring though, is it? Oh, the thing said something about fire. Language is that of Mordor, which I will not utter here. Mordor? So it's Mordor language? That's the... One ring to rule them all. Oh, is he just not like the Mordorians? It's heard its master's call. But he was destroyed. Yeah, wasn't he? S speak up, ring. <laughs> Sauron has returned. All right, we put it away. We keep it hidden. We Good work, Frodo. Just pop it in a cupboard somewhere. It's fine. So they named Babel. They discerned two words. Oh. Dragons. Oh, Jesus! You cannot offer me this ring. I'm giving it to you. Don't tempt me, Frodo. But Gandalf, can't you do great shit with this ring? You have to keep it safe. You can, come on, come on. Imagine Gandalf rocking that ring. I'd be down for that. It would wield a power too great and terrible to imagine. It's fine. Gandalf, Gandalf, Gandalf. Get the ring on this man. Hobbits really are amazing creatures. Creatures? Come on, man. You sir, honest. I was just cutting the grass under the window there. If you follow me. You liar. Don't turn me in anything unnatural. What is that? Uh, unnatural? What, is it? what do you mean? I've thought of a better use for you. Come along, Samwise. Keep up. Oh. He's just keeping him as a... Slave? <laughs> servant. Let's go with servant. The ring is trying to get back to its master. It wants to be found. Got it. <laughs> Thank you for really reminding me about that, Gandalf. The ring wants to be with its master. It wants to be found. I'm fully prepared for the ring's shenanigans now. If I take one more step, it'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. <laughs> Well, come on, let's 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 do it. Rides to Isengard, seeking my counsel. For that is why you have come, is it not? Scaramanga, where's your golden gun? Saruman. Scaramanga to you. 
or love of a halfling's leaf has clearly slowed your mind. Easy there, buddy. Very soon he will have summoned an army great enough to launch an assault upon Middle Earth. You know this? How do you know this shit, Scaramanga? I have seen it. A Palantir is a dangerous tool, Saruman. Why? Why should we fear to use it? Oh, crystal ball, huh? Let's do it. The hour is later than you think. Nine have left Minas Morgul. Nine? They crossed the river Eisen on Midsummer's Eve. Oh, the nine. This is the... Yes, the black horse people. He's so evil. <laughs> I love Christopher Lee. We must join with him, Gundam. We must join with Sauron. Mm, I don't know. When did Saruman the Wise abandon reason for madness? Yeah! Oh! Solid burn, but didn't know Saruman could do that. hell is happening with these guys? Willingly, but you have elected the way of pain! People in the comments, let me know, did Christopher Lee give you nightmares as a child? Because you're not the only one. <laughs> He's been terrifying in many things. That was rough. Where did he just banish Gandalf to? Who is that guy there? Where have I seen him in? I mean, what have I seen him in? I think we should get off the road. <laughs> yeah, I agree with uh, Frodo. Let's get off this road. Man, why does this horse look like he's covered in blood? Oh, shit. I don't know who this hooded, uh, skeleton-y handed person is, but, uh, terrifying. I have to leave the Shire. Sam and I must get debris. Right. Buckleberry Ferry, follow me. All right, all right, he's on our team. No questions asked, by the way, he's like, no worries. Oh, shit. Wow, how the hell did they escape that? It was right on top of him. Oh my god, the sound and the um, cinema, a little bit, cinema, for cinematography. There we go. Uh, in this movie, are just next level. Like just all of the shots of the Black Rider there, and the sound of the the horse and the shrieking and everything like that. Just incredible. Oh my god, is that Walter Frey? Slash, um, Filch. Oh, whoops, sorry, it's a lady. Pardon me, ma'am. <laughs> Prancing pony, someone was gonna meet someone there. there uh... Under him. Yeah, not Baggins. He'll be here, he'll come. Uh, he got just, he got banished into darkness. Uh, what's his name? Frodo. Frodo, Gandalf was banished to darkness. There we go. Around here, he's known as Strider. Strider, yeah, just sitting back there. Is that our mate, or? Like, is that old mate on the black horse trying to get him, or somebody else? Oh, stop touching the ring! That sounds creepy as hell with these headphones. <laughs> He's my second cousin. No, you dumb fuck. Underhill. <gasps> oh no. I see you. Oh, 
Jesus. I can avoid being seen if I wish, but to disappear entirely, that is a rare gift. Who are you? Are you yeah. frightened? Yeah, answer the question. Who are you? <laughs> Oh, I'm not sure if that was a man or a woman, but R.I.P. Whoa, come on, man. That's freaky as. <gasps> oh, bit much. Lucky. They will never stop hunting you. Great. <laughs> Deal with these nine Grim Reapers on horseback. Oh, we're going to see the elves, huh? We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? Greedy. Greedy hobbits. Luncheon. Afternoon tea. Dinner. Supper. So what, do all hobbits need to eat all the time or just pip? Does the eye come on? We have work to do. Whoa. So Christopher Lee is putting together Sauron's army. Shit. Are they all going to have golden guns? Where the hell are you? Oh, so he just banished him to the roof. Oh, okay. I thought he went to interdimensional. Rooftop imprisonment. Got it. And Gandalf needs his stick in order to do magic stuff, I'm guessing. These are for you. Keep them clear. All right. What are you doing? Tomatoes, sausages, nice crispy bacon. We saved some for you, Mr. Frodo. Put it out, you fools! Put it out! That's nice! <sighs> yeah, good point. I mean, I do love crispy bacon as much as anyone, but mm, not when these guys are on the, on the chase. I don't, I don't know what your sword skills are like, man, but I uh, hope they're good. <laughs> well done, Frodo. Good move. Oh, but now you got to go back to this creepy place. Oh. So wait, it's like a upside down kind of thing, but you see other shit. <laughs> Oh, here he is. I was waiting for this guy. Alright, there we go. Here we go. Oh, that'll do it. Good work there, Strider, or whatever your name was. We're six days from Rivendell. He'll never make it. You'll never make it. Never, never, ever. Never make it. You'll never make it. Don't you see you can't make it? I implore you to reconsider. Shout out to Kung Pao into the fist. Oh, this is his army putting together all their weaponry and stuff. So in all the thousands upon thousands of years that stuff has been happening in this, they never entered like the electronic age or... Like combustion and stuff. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's a big boy. Look at that mitt. It looks like Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> What's this? A ranger caught off his guard. Okay, sexy sword lady. What's going on? Well, maybe she. I've only heard her voice at this point. Oh, damn. Hello? I stand by my previous statement. There are five wraiths behind you. Where the other four are, I do not know. Oh, we killed them, didn't we? So there's only five left? These two. Oh man. This is rough for Frodo. <laughs> He's on the verge of death, or entering the shadow realm, and uh, he's gonna be on this goddamn horseback. Is that, are they 
all back? Oh my god, none of them are dead. Damn it. Oh, okay. I don't understand why this is happening, but got it. There's a horse in the water. I'm guessing that this isn't fatal for these guys, though. On October the 24th, if you want to know. Gandalf. Yes, I'm here. Oh, hey, Gandalf. Yeah, what are you doing here? And you're lucky to be here, too. How'd you get off the rooftop, my friend? Oh, is that a extended edition thing? <laughs> Only one who can bend it to his will. He does not share power. Who's he talking about? Oh! So you have chosen death. <laughs> Christopher Lee, love him. Oh wow, where is that in New Zealand? It's a joke. You'll probably be seeing that right here for the most of this movie. That's a beautiful shot. Elf, um, weaving, you are doing doing good things with the uh, decor and the architecture and the whole presentation. Bilbo, hello, Frodo, my. Oh my God! There he is. Don't let him anywhere near the ring, for the love of God. He does not have the control. We do not have the strength to fight both Mordor and Isengard. The ring cannot stay here. Who can protect it? I mean... I don't see... I'm guessing destroying it... Oh, who can protect it? Ned Stark slash 006 can protect it. Who's this guy? I think he's a big deal. I've seen his face before. To the heart of Mandu, where the ring was forged, the one place it could be destroyed. Oh, really? And he wouldn't throw it in? You see, dude! It should have ended that day, but evil was allowed to endure. Yeah, why didn't you just throw a sword in his back? Take care of that right away. Now you gotta deal with all this shit. There's that moment, hey, with the broken sword. What do you make of this, 006? The blade to cut the ring from Sauron's hand. Still sharp. But no more than a broken head. You are a Sealdor's heir, not a Sealdor himself. Ooh, was I supposed to know that by now? Because this is news to me. The same blood flows in my veins. The same weakness. Yeah, good point, good point. Forsaking the immortal life of your people. And to that Those are immortal. Hope, okay. I would rather share one lifetime with you than face all the ages of this world alone. <laughs> I wonder if all the other, um, Elf ladies look at her and they're like, Ugh, she's so dramatic. Just outlive your husband, get a new husband. I'm on my fourth. It's fine. This is a serious thing, but, you know. Strangers from distant lands, friends of old. You've been summoned here to answer the threat of Mordor. Mordor. I all pronounce Mordor in a very Mordor kind of way. <laughs> the ring is <coughs> just doing a big presentation right now. He is Aragorn, son of Arathorn. You owe him your allegiance. Oh, and he was just shitting all over the sword. <laughs> Gondor needs no king. <laughs> I love the tension between those two. That that death stare from uh, Sean Bean just there. Be destroyed, Gimli, son of Gloin, by any craft that 
we here possess. Got to throw it into the volcano in Mount Doom. One of you must do this. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> Why don't you do it? Simply walk into Mordor. Oh, that's the bay. I will be dead before I see the ring in the hands of an elf. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Is that really the time for this? Frodo's gonna have to be the one because he's not corrupted by it and stuff, I guess. I will take the ring to Mordor. Good for you, Frodo. If by my life or death I can protect you, I will. And you have my bow. And my axe. Oh, they're all coming along. I thought they were just giving him his weapons. Like, poor Frodo's been walking along lugging a bow and an axe and a friggin' sword. To you, even when he is summoned to a secret council and you are not. Oi! We're coming too! <laughs> you shall be the Fellowship of the Ring. Yeah. They are the Fellowship of the Ring. Where are we going? <sighs> Mount Doom. To throw a ring in a lava pit. Keep up. <laughs> Me thrill. Oh, it's a... Um, Chainmail. Got it. I thought it was just a... <laughs> sexy little... No, don't worry. Never mind. It's very much like to hold it again. One last time. Do not let this man hold that ring, Bilbo. Ah! Ew! How is he Gollum? Him and Gollum have to be the same creature. Time travel? That Gandalf money shot. Look at this squad right here. So... Is Sean Bean dying in this movie? <laughs> or do I have to wait? Because you know he's dying. No, Ghibli. I would not take the road through Moria unless I had no other choice. <laughs> That's Gandalf's way of saying, I've met your cousin and I don't care for him. <laughs> Is this how he dies? <laughs> you must take the pass of characters. Oh, we're in snow now. We suffer so much fear and doubt over so small a thing. Such a little thing. Give it back. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> he was ready to... Chop Sean Bean's finger off. Oh. It's quite the journey, quite the road. Hang on, is this Saruman or Lord Raiden? What's going on here? Let the ring bearer decide. We will go through the mines. So be it. Ooh. Was that a good idea, Gandalf, to let Frodo choose? I mean, he doesn't seem to know what the hell he's talking about. Oh, it's quite simple. If you want a friend, you speak the password and the doors will open. Amen. Alright, what is what game is this door playing? Come on, G Dolph. Do not disturb the water. Yeah, there's a lot of tension right now. <laughs> what is something's coming out of the water, Jesus. What's the Elvish word for friend? Melon. That's quite the riddle. <laughs> 
Right, so we got like booby traps and stuff like that. Damn it. By the way, do they just chuck their bodies in there? Like, hey, just chuck it in. Whoa, look out! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Good shot. I don't know where that arrow hit, but it was enough to make this Kraken beast go. Gandalf, I like you, but why didn't you tell anybody that there was, like, monsters in Moiria? Quite enough. It's a four day journey to the other side. Four days? Why does this movie have to make everything go so long? Four days, 60 years, and then 3,000 years later. It's just. <laughs> I feel like you could have told the same story, be like, it's gonna be a four hour journey, and we'd still be like, ugh. Oh, Gollum. It's Gollum. Mm. Gollum. He's been following us for three days. Did you not think to tell anybody this, Gandalf? Now you are acting like Dumbledore. Exactly like him. Many that live deserve death. And some that die deserve life. Can you give it to them, Frodo? I, I don't know. What are you asking him to do here, Gandalf? Bilbo was meant to find the ring. In which case, you also were meant to have it. And that is an encouraging thought. I don't know about that. I don't like this whole, oh, it was destined to be. Like, that's some kind of explanation, you know? If he died, then he had all Always follow your nose. Yes, Mary Adok. Follow your nose. Is he going to have to really use his nose at some point in one of these movies? The Dwarf City. Overcompensating there, aren't you dwarves? Come on. Look at these giant pillars. Son of Hundin. Lord of Moria. Oh, that's his cousin. We cannot get out. Your shadow moves in the dark. That's that creepy creature. Oh my god, where did that go to? <laughs> Fool of a took. Throw yourself in next time and rid us of your stupidity. Whoa. Orcs! Come, come! There is one dwarf yet in Moria who still draws breath! <laughs> You're going, to, going down swinging for your people, fair enough. <laughs> oh man, this is a big brawl to happen in, in an enclosed space. Who <laughs> is this CGI monster? Jeez, he's not fucking around, is he? Gotcha. <laughs> he got stabbed again. Oh, that got him. It's kind of grim, honestly, because you're just watching this giant creature's brain like <laughs> shutting down in real time after getting shot in the mouth with a friggin' arrow. Oh, he was wearing the chainmail. The sexy chainmail. I think there's more to this hobbit than meets the eye. Alright, Optimus. Tell us more. <laughs> and now what the hell are these little crawly guys? A bell rock. A demon of the ancient world. Balrog? Demon of the ancient world? Can I just say, I haven't seen Magneto use his powers once in this whole movie. Oh, oh really? These guys again? <laughs> Nobody tosses a dwarf! <laughs> Alright, don't watch the wolf, the wolf of Wall Street then, mate. 
Very clever. Very clever. Can you guys back up a little bit, please? I feel, I feel like they were really close to the edge. Like, can you give me a bit of room to land? There it is. Ooh, yeah, he's creepy. You cannot pass! <gasps> this is the thing that shall not pass? <laughs> Some good work there, Gandhi. You shall not pass! Oh! Piss off, shadow monster. Did Gandalf make that happen, or did, was that just a happy coincidence that the bridge collapsed? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> you know what? I respect the never give up attitude of the shadow monster. Fly, you fools! <gasps> that didn't look like Gandalf falling down there. Did I just miss see it, or...? <sighs> Honestly, it looked like Voldemort in a in a robe. I don't know. You're not telling me Gandalf is dead. Surely not. Surely not. What do you got in your mind, Frodo? Sad thoughts. Fair enough. Don't you go putting that ring on. I see that a great sorceress lives in these woods. Oh, is there just? An elf witch mm. of terrible power. I was gonna say an elf witch actually makes me feel hungry. Sounds like sandwich. Mmm, lady of the woods. I'm guessing. You will sleep Welcome, with Frodo of the Shire, one who has seen the eye. Whoa. Oh. <clears throat> I am getting a lot of um parallels with Harry Potter and like all the um the the snake talk that he was hearing and <clears throat> the horcruxes and everything like that my father is a noble man but his rule is failing and uh, our our people lose faith mm -hmm. so that's what's going on with him the lords of Gondor have returned Slider what's his name Strider doesn't seem too impressed with this idea. Whoa, hello. Even the wisest cannot tell. For the mirror shows many things. She's creepy. Very, very beautiful. Bit creepy. So Frodo's going to get a look at his future here. Is that what's going on? Right, that's all about boys. Mm, the Shire burning. Oh, no. <coughs> Hobbits enslaved. <laughs> <sighs> Sauron is powerful <laughs> side eye of the century right there Sauron's powerful very you offer it to me freely <laughs> yes please take this thing it's been nothing but trouble I do not deny that my heart has greatly desired this oh wait the elves are not immune to its power and its drawer as well, even this powerful woman. You're not having the ring. You got two sides to you, lady. Jesus Christ. To bear a ring of power is to be alone. Thanks, Bilbo. Boy, so this is his army finally ready to go to war. Jesus. You will taste man flesh! <laughs> Alright. You will taste man flesh. How was that not the the quote that came out of this movie? That's a glass dildo is what that is. But thanks for the gift. When all other lights go out. This is gonna be very handy, isn't it? Wow, there is some massive, like, over... I'm, I'm gonna say overly, overly cinematic shots in this movie. 
I can see why when it first came out, it was like the cool thing to like have it on DVD and watch it on DVD with all the best quality kind of thing. Um, I see why it. This would have cost a friggin' ton to film. This this is all like like on location. It's nuts. Peter Jackson, I toast you with an iced Vovo. Haven't seen the Nazgul for a while. I don't think they got wiped out with the the water, but no, I, I'm I'm not convinced that they they're done. Is that what's his name? Saruman. Orcs patrol the eastern shore. We must wait for cover of darkness. But it's not the eastern shore that worries me. Oh, now what do we got to worry about? None of us should wander alone. You least of all. Now you speak for yourself then, Sean Bean. We're all afraid, Frodo. But to let that fear God. Is this a heel turn I'm seeing? I ask only for the strength to defend my feet. He's got that that ring lust. We'll find you. We'll take the ring. Not wrong. Not wrong. I can understand why he's so paranoid and like sketchy about this. He's like, yeah, great. He's going to take the ring, become all powerful, and my people are going to suffer. Frodo. Hey, this ring has broken this man's brain. Oh, this thing again. Jesus. Frodo? <laughs> it has taken Boromir. Where is the ring? Oh, it's got them all. I like Strider, but it sucks that he is clearly not strong enough to deal with that. <laughs> really? Single-handedly gonna take down all these orcs? <laughs> oh, nice shot. No! He made it. Why are these two here? <laughs> these two? What what's purpose are they serving? Hey! Hey you! Over here! Hey! Over here! This way! Great plan, guys. May you both rest in peace. Oh, he's back! <laughs> Some good knife action there, mate. Some good bow, too. Good for you. Ah, he's trying to draw them away from Frodo. What a noble act. You can survive this, Sean Bean. I believe in you. That's a big arrow. You got it, man. You got it. 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 Is he? He's fine. <laughs> All right, he's he's alive. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Third wind. Third wind. And these two guys just stand there. They didn't even help him that whole time. Not a fan of these two. One more swing. One more swing. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Good killing. They have failed you all. No, Boromir. You fought bravely. Yeah, Boromir, you got nothing to be ashamed about, mate. <laughs> well, I mean, except the mild corruption, but it's fine. No, our people fail. Our people. Sean Bean's character, Boromir, he is um, very, very proud of his people and his heritage and his home. To his dying death, he was like, I failed to protect him. Captain. My king. He even acknowledged him as king. It's actually quite sad. The connection those two shared, especially, you know? I wish none of this had happened. So do all who live to see such times, but that is not for them to and decide. Where are you talking from? 
Proto! No, Sam. <clears throat> Go back, Sam! <laughs> I'm going to Mordor alone. Of course you are. One does not simply go to Mordor without Sam. Point take point proven, Sam. We get it. You're dedicated. I made a promise, Mr. Frodo. A promise. Don't you leave him, Samwise Gamgee. I don't mean to. I don't mean to. Oh, that's actually really, really heartfelt and sweet. Fellowship of the Ring, let's go. Oh, rest in peace. Boromir slash Ed Stark slash Alex Trevelyan. <laughs> it's an ugly burial. Sweet, up to a point. And then, chaos. Leave all that can be spared behind. We travel light. That is handsome, Orc. We're going on an Orc hunt. Gonna catch big one. I'm not scared. Who remembers that old classic from their childhood? Mordor. I hope the others find a safer road. Just simply walk in. And that's how it ends? Wow, okay. So I guess they had plans of doing multiple movies very very early on in the piece and that came to a kind of a sudden ending i guess because you know the story is well and truly not <laughs> told at this point but that was lord of the rings what are my thoughts my initial thoughts of that were the quality and the filmmaking and the cinematography and the settings and the sheer uh, human effort that would have gone into making this is very impressive. I can see why back in the 2000s this had that popularity that it did and it was largely a lot of it was all about like it's a spectacle you gotta watch it on a big flat screen you gotta watch it on the DVD and get the extra features and all that kind of stuff. It was an interesting movie it didn't make my nipples explode with delight or anything like that but um it was a fun story I liked the elves I think most of all I think I'm an el elf man that's 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 my allegiance I'm, a, I'm allegianing with the elves some of you may say I should align with the dwarves and to those people I say that's very rude of you so one thing I feel like this movie is lacking for my personal taste is comedy I feel like what the Harry Potter and Game of Thrones you know series and I'll probably do a lot of comparing to those just because they're my only kind of reference point but what they did very well was inject like good comedy in it this was very very serious it was a very very serious topic um very very serious journey that they're all on and it was all kind of taken seriously the comic relief maybe I was supposed to get that from um the two Pippin and his mate I uh, didn't really like those characters. I don't know why they got sent with the others. They, they were kind of useless and they were... They just kept like creating problems that would like cause this journey to be way more difficult than it did. So I don't know if that's like a big fan thing where people look at those characters as being like, you know, if you, if you got rid of them, everything would have been a lot easier for the protagonist. But didn't really get in with those two. I do like the little squad that we formed. I mean, rest in peace. Gandalf? Is he dead? Dead? He's dead dead now, yeah? And, um, old mate, Ned Stark, he's dead as well. Dead Ned. B Bar B uh, Boromir, I think his name was. He was a really good character. I was actually kind of bummed out to see him die because I was getting into his journey. I started to really feel his, um, connection with his home and everything like that. And, you know, that was probably one of the sort of internal character journeys that... I was most interested in and now he's dead but I'm interested to see where Strider goes in uh, the future movies but this this movie was just absolutely beautiful like the all the scenery all the setting how immersive it is into this totally fictional world and there's so and and this is where I get overwhelmed when they're like and then 2,000 years later I have 2,000 questions for that time jump kind of thing and uh, just in general fantasy stuff, a lot of new words, new places and words that I can't pronounce and names that I can't remember and stuff like that. That's where I kind of fall down. So as you watch these movies with me, if you see me completely misunderstand something like that, I, I'm sorry. I just, you know, I, I do my best.
Ian McClellan as uh, Gandalf was pretty damn good as well. So I enjoyed him. They had a lot of like very funny shots of him looking incredibly devious. And while I was getting vibes of Dumbledore towards the end, and when I say vibes of Dumbledore, I don't just mean beard and pointy hat. I mean um, keeping information from people. <laughs> That's what I mean by vibes of Dumbledore. He should have been a little bit more open. That's just the way I kind of look at it, but... Maybe the extended version explains that in detail, but for some reason, I don't think it does. But thanks for checking this one out. And yeah, I, like I say, I wanted to do the extended versions, but I didn't have access to them. And um, like I say, already feeling pretty overwhelmed with everything that's going on anyway. I will watch all the extended version, like extra clips. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do that once I get to the end of this and uh, we'll have to wait and see. But let me know in the comments what you want me to do with all of that. Don't forget to go to patreon.com slash fwci if you want a full length reaction to this and early access to a whole bunch of other stuff. And thanks to NBA Strayer for sponsoring this video. If you like NBA and you like having a good like daily podcast with all the updated scores and news and everything going on around the league, go check out Jimmy or NBA Strayer and go to the NBA Strayer YouTube channel as well. That's where you can listen to the podcast or you can get it in the podcast feed. Thanks for checking this one out. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.